All right, guys, we are starting a brand new project, probably the first project in the new house. Right now, we need to get started on the garage floor epoxy. Typically, the garage floor stuff needs to cure, you know, 24 hours before you can move stuff in. So this can save me a lot of, you know, anxiety keeping my tools and stuff outside. All right, now, since we're here anyways in the garage, well, let me at least show you a little bit around in the garage here. So we have a classic two-car garage here, which um, I'm sure my wife is gonna park. I don't know if my truck is gonna, it might take up a little too much room. And then this is the bread and butter here. This is where all the workshop stuff is gonna happen. We have have a 20 foot four 24 foot four that's not a real number we have a 24 foot long workspace here with a through garage door which is really gonna be cool to bring stuff in work and then take it out this way really exciting for this clean blank slate let's start sweeping this thing and start the process But first, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Policy Genius. All right, folks, let's talk adult things, insurance. We need it, we need it for our home insurance, we need it for our auto insurance, and we need it for life insurance. But why is it that, because we need it, why is it so difficult to get it? Well, Policy Genius asked themselves that exact same question, so they started a company and reinvented the process from start to finish. If you're wondering what is Policy Genius, Policy Genius is America's number one leading insurance marketplace where they take all the top auto and home insurance companies and puts them all in one spot for you to compare your policies. Once you find the right policy, Policy Genius experts will do all the work to transition into your new policy. And if you're wondering, they also offer tools to help you find life insurance policy. Policy Genius has saved their home and auto insurance customers of an average of $1,000 per year. Did you know that home insurance costs vary from insurer to insurer? They don't tell you that. They're not the same prices. So it's important for you to find a place to shop around and get the best possible policy and the price for what you need. We just bought our house, so it was nice to get a nice fresh rate to go into this new house and save us a bunch of money. Reshopping your insurance policies can lead to surprising savings. Simply answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius will compare your policy against the rest of the policies on the marketplace, giving you the best coverage and price for your needs. If Policy Genius can find you a better existing rate, they'll make the switch for free for you. So do yourself a favor, head over to policygenius.com slash MrBillard to start shopping the marketplace and saving today. Now let's get back into this video. Let's go. Step one is done now. Step two is we gotta degrease whatever is here. So this is a degree set that I bought. You can use this for a lot of things. Uh, what it's saying for uh, applications, if it's tough stains, do full strength. If it's like stuff like uh, general purpose cleaning or painted surface, it's like a dilution ratio. Best way to apply it, we're gonna use a little uh, watering can. A little <laughs> dabadua. That's not a word, is it? Dabadua. Okay, well, I'm gonna start applying this and think of real words. What? It's my house. All right, this is like tracking an animal. Are we seeing this? Look at this. Wood glue. Previous owner dabbled a little bit of woodworking, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. I respect that. Anywho, find whatever you can find that is uh, still needs to be chipped off the ground. Sometimes it's wood glue, sometimes it's just, I don't know, gunk. Just make sure you have a nice clean surface so it doesn't, you know, the epoxy doesn't cover it. Now that I got my degreaser on, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more minutes and get my pressure washer and start a scrubbing. What am I, a barbarian? It's my house, but you know, it's too tidy.
Okay, so the epoxy kit itself, uh, I've used a product from Rustoleum before. This is the first time I'm using their rock solid. They're based off of two and a half car garage, which who has a half car garage? I don't know. Um, and so sometimes you'll have to buy the two and a half and the one car garage to make it even. So I bought two boxes because it's a kind of a big one. So here's what's in here usually. There's usually a bag or two of the concrete etching. And then there's a bag or two of the actual epoxy and not with, you know, of course directions, you got your textured flakes. Here's the kicker. My concrete is already sealed with um, uh, the previous epoxy that was built in what, 2005? So some parts are kind of already chipping away. The directions say do not use the self etching because if you put the self etcher on the concrete, it produces the acid that's there and it could be, more, it's like a chemical reaction. So we're gonna skip that and instead we're gonna apply the epoxy itself. Now, before we do that, we have to squeegee this floor. We have to make sure it's dry and make sure there's no dust or debris in here. So let's get to uh, drying. All right, so like I said right here, uh, do not apply the concrete etching directly to painted uh, concrete here. So uh, because this is already has epoxy on it from the original time, some parts are faded like there, which I'm gonna take a gamble and say that they don't want us to use this acid stuff to create this chemical reaction. So instead we're just gonna roll it on where it is. But before we do that, let's do the corner barriers first and then we'll start rolling it on and doing a little flakeroo. All right, here are our two part resin conveniently separated bag A to bag B. All you gotta do is just grab it and start rolling it and it breaks it in. And then we start kneading the dough. We do a little pizzeria thing. We do a little, -da 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 -da. Oh, look at that dough, huh? Boom. You know, it'd be actually a lot easier if I used a roller for the side and then the brush for the top, cover more area. You want to use the tape for nice clean transition cuts. You don't want to get the stuff on the, uh, you know, the driveway. Also, you know what I found out? Some of my friends were quoted like between three and $5,000 to do their garage, like to hire somebody to do this. And double the amount of epoxy I bought, I spent no more than 400 bucks. If you have a smaller garage, you can get away with maybe three. Impressive, impressive. What's up, buddy? You know, it's a diamond in the rough. <laughs> It'll look better. I gotta jet and pick up Irina at the airport in like an hour. You know, she's having fun. I'm working on the new house. You know, I'm not here to complain about anything. Uh, Tyler said he's gonna come out and help me get here done. Um, I got the edges kind of started, rolling us out. Have you ever done this before? I have done this before. Perfect. We're gonna roll it, we're gonna sprinkle it, we'll be done. They say you want to do like a 10 by 10 slab at a time. This is the funnest part. Get a little bit of flakes, no signs behind us. Watch this. Woo! Fun flakes.
All right, guys, it's the next day. We can walk on it. The, the instructions say 12 hours you can walk, 24 hours you can start driving on. It all depends. Make sure you look at the label based off of uh, humidity outside and the temperature of the concrete based off time you do it. So just watch those disclaimers. But how cool does this look? 400 bucks, 400 bucks. That's what this cost us. Thousands of dollars. My friends, like I said, $5,000 somebody was quoted on. We got it busted out in one day. It's done. It's moving ready. And I couldn't be more excited. Hey, well that is it for me this week. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video. Make sure you follow this house process along. Guys, I am so excited to start setting up my shop remodel this house, we're gonna be in for a treat. This journey is gonna be for a while, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell, that way you'll know exactly when I put a video out. Check out all my social media links, they'll be down in the description below, as well as my merch section and my website where you guys will see plans and tutorials for all the home improvement and DIY projects I do. Remember guys, we are not trained professionals, we're just not afraid to try and fail. Courage and sweat, that's our motto here. Tune out this week, we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya, bye.